In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine if a salt or an ionic compound is considered acidic, basic, or neutral. So the first thing you need to know is the strong acids and the weak acids. I recommend taking out a sheet of paper and writing these things down. A strong acid ionizes completely in water. A weak acid ionizes partially in water. The percent ionization might be 5% or less. There are six common strong acids you need to be familiar with. HCl, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and perchloric acid. So those are the strong acids you need to be familiar with. For the most part, if you come across another acid, you could assume that it's a weak acid. But here are some examples of weak acids. Hydrofluoric acid, acetic acid. Now, sulfuric acid has four oxygen atoms. Sulfuric acid has three oxygen atoms. When dealing with oxy acids, the less oxygens there are, the less acidic will be. So nit nitric acid is a strong acid, but nitrous acid, HNO2, that's a weak acid. Perchloric acid is a strong acid, but chloric acid, HClO3, that's a weak acid. If you see HClO2 or HClO, those are also weak acids. And we have some other ones, carbonic acid, that's a weak acid, hydrocyanic acid, just to name a few. Now going back to our notes, we said that hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. The conjugate base of a strong acid is neutral. You don't really even consider it a base. Chloride is a neutral ion. What does that mean? Well, if you were to place a solution of sodium chloride, or rather, let me say that again, if you were to dissolve sodium chloride in water, the pH of the solution will remain seven. So the chloride ion is a neutral salt. It doesn't change the pH of the solution. Now, to contrast that, fluoride is not a neutral salt. Because HF is a weak acid, that means that fluoride is a significant base. So fluoride is considered a basic ion. If you were to put sodium fluoride in water, the pH will not remain seven. The pH can go somewhere between eight and 10. It might even be somewhere close to nine, but it's gonna be above seven, which indicate basic conditions. So the chloride ion is a neutral ion, but the fluoride ion is a weak base. So remember this, the conjugate of a strong acid is a neutral ion, and the conjugate of a weak acid is a weak base. Now let's take some more notes. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to make a list of all the ions that are considered acidic, neutral, and basic. So let's start with the acidic ions. The ammonium ion, NH4+, that's a weak acid. NH3 is a weak base. Metal ions with very high positive charges, like the aluminum 3 plus cation, or the Fe3 plus cation, these are acidic metal cations. They can ionize water and release H plus in the solution. Another example is the Pb4 plus ion. So an ion with a very high positive charge is considered acidic. Now, neutral ions are conjugate bases of strong acids. HCl is a strong acid, so Cl minus is a neutral ion. 
HI is a strong acid, so the iodide ion is neutral. HBr is a strong acid, so Br- is neutral. And we also have nitrate, sulfate, and perchlorate. That's why it's important for you to know which acids are strong acids, because then you know which ions are neutral. Now, there are some metal cations that are neutral as well, particularly the group 1 metal cations. Things like sodium plus, lithium plus, potassium plus, these are neutral ions. Now let's go over the basic ions. So as mentioned before, HF is a weak acid. So the conjugate base of a weak acid is a weak base. So thus we have a basic ion. HNO2 is a weak acid, so NO2 minus is a basic ion. And then we have sulfite, acetate, that's another basic ion, carbonate, cyanide, ClO minus, ClO2 minus, even phosphate. H3PO4, phosphoric acid, is a weak acid. Now there's some other basic ions. These are really strong bases, such as hydroxide. That's a strong base. Oxide is even stronger, O2 minus. And hydride is also a strong base. So now with this information, we can work on some example problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a list of ionic compounds. And I want you to write A if the salt is acidic. If it's basic, write B. And if it's neutral, write N. So while I take a minute to write these down, feel free to identify these compounds as acidic, basic, or neutral. It's good to go over a lot of examples so you can really understand the concept. And I have a few more examples to consider. I'm almost done. So next is going to be calcium oxide and then sodium carbonate. barium hydroxide, potassium sulfite, and sodium oxide. So let's start with the first example. Lithium chloride, would you say that's acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, lithium is an alkali metal, so that's neutral. Chloride is the conjugate base of a strong acid, that's neutral. So this is neutral overall. What about potassium hydroxide? Whenever you see hydroxide, it's a strong base. So that's going to be a basic salt. For the next one, ammonium, that is an acidic ion. So ammonium chloride is acidic overall. In the case of aluminum bromide, aluminum Al3+, plus, that is an acidic metal cation. Bromide is neutral, so overall, that salt will be acidic. Potassium fluoride. Potassium is neutral. Fluoride is the conjugate base of a weak acid, so fluoride is a basic ion. Overall, this is going to be basic. FeCl3. Cl- minus is neutral, but the Fe3 plus cation, that is acidic. Next, we have sodium hydride. Sodium is neutral. It's an alkali metal in group one, but hydride is a strong base. Lithium iodide. Both lithium and iodide are neutral. Same thing for potassium nitrate. Nitrate is the conjugate base of a strong acid, so nitrate is a neutral ion. Nitrite, that's different. That's a basic ion because 
HNO2 is a weak acid. Copper 2 sulfate. Now this one is interesting. Sulfate is neutral, but the copper 2 plus ion, well, the charge is not that high. Some metal ions with a 2 plus charge are considered neutral, but some transition metal ions like copper 2 plus, even though it's not a 3 plus charge, but it's enough to make the solution slightly acidic. Now, what you could do is you can look up the Ka value for these metal ions to really determine if it's acidic or not. Now, let's continue. Sodium acetate. Acetate comes from a weak acid, acetic acid. So acetate is basic. Phosphate, PO4, 3 minus, that negative 3 charge will certainly make that polyatomic ion basic. Ammonium nitrate. Nitrate is neutral, but we know that ammonium is acidic. Calcium oxide. The oxide part of calcium oxide makes it basic. Sodium carbonate. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, so carbonate is going to be a basic ion. Barium hydroxide. Whenever you see hydroxide, it's going to be basic. K2SO3. It comes from sulfurous acid, H2SO3, which is a weak acid. Thus, SO3 2 minus is going to be a basic ion. And sodium oxide. Oxide is a strong base, so that's going to be basic as well. So now you know how to determine if a salt or an ionic compound is acidic, basic, or neutral. Now let's talk about why certain ions are acidic and why some are basic. Ammonium is a weak acid because when you put it in water, it will ionize with water, generating ammonia and the H3O plus ion, also known as hydronium. Now, this reaction is reversible, as indicated by the double arrows. So any type of ion that generates H3O plus in solution, that ion is considered an acidic ion because it will cause the pH of the solution to be less than 7. A neutral ion, like sodium chloride, that will keep the pH of the solution approximately at 7. Now let's consider fluoride. So we said fluoride is a basic ion. When it reacts with water, it's going to cause water to ionize. Fluoride is going to abstract a proton from H2O, turn it into the conjugate acid HF, releasing hydroxide ions into the solution. So any type of salt or even an ion, if it produces hydroxide ions in solution, that is a basic salt because it's going to increase the pH of the solution. Now the next one is the aluminum 3 plus cation. In water, six water molecules surround the aluminum 3 plus cation. And so you can write it like this. The net charge is still 3 plus. But aluminum has the ability to ionize one of the water molecules attached to it, creating Al, H2O5, OH with a 2 plus charge, releasing an H plus ion into the solution. So notice that one of the water molecules was broken into OH and H. And this H plus can pair up with another water molecule to become H3O plus. The net result is that the pH will be less than 7. So that's why metal, cati metal cations with high positive charges tend to be acidic in water. It's because they can ionize water, generating H plus or H3O plus in a solution. Thus, that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to determine if an ionic compound or salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. Thanks for watching.